Peregrine Lander's bid to land on the moon has been scuppered by a fuel leak. Astrobotics ambitious lunar lander Peregrine looks to set fail its mission after unexpected technical problems. The spacecraft, which is the first U.S.-built lunar lander to launch since the Apollo program, and also the first commercial spacecraft ever to attempt a soft landing on the moon, lifted off Cape Canaveral, Florida on Monday with the goal of eventually touching down on the moon's northern hemisphere late next month. Its extensive payload includes two rovers, one from the Mexican Space Agency, another from Carnegie Mellon University, a host of scientific instruments, and even the DNA of U.S. President John F. Kennedy. It was not long after the launch, however, that it became apparent that something was wrong as the spacecraft struggled to correctly align its solar panels towards the sun. The cause, it turned out, was a major propulsion system leak. And as things stand, Peregrine's fuel is likely to run out within just two days, and it will no longer be possible for it to attempt a landing on the lunar surface. An ongoing propellant leak is causing the spacecraft's attitude control system, ACS thrusters, to operate well beyond their expected service life cycles to keep the lander from an uncontrollable tumble, Astrobiotic wrote in a statement on Twitter. If the thrusters can continue to operate, we believe the spacecraft could continue in a stable sun-pointing state for approximately 40 hours based on current fuel consumption. At this time, the goal is to, let, to get Peregrine as close to lunar distance as we can before it loses the ability to maintain its sun-pointing position and subsequently loses power. So I guess that's it for that mission. This is from BBC News on Unexplained Mysteries. Please leave your comments for, and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.